new gen a new generation has allowed this series to finally come back and i'm excited to share my thoughts on the paldean gym leaders what's good chaotic nation it's your boy chaos here and we make a return to the fixing the gym leader series this time checking out the paldean gym leaders and seeing how we can adjust their teams to make them better i'll be trying to make these gym leaders really represent the region well as i've done in the past so I'll be trying to include these new Paldean Pokemon onto their teams. With that being said, let's dive into today's video. Starting off this list, we have Katie, the Bug-type Gym Leader. Katie has a pretty solid team of Tarantula, Nimble, and Teddy Ursa. Gym Leaders in Paldea have a Mon that terrestrializes in the gym, so we can have one Pokemon that doesn't match the gym type, as long as we have that covered by being the Terra Pokemon. In this case, Teddy Ursa will be a Bug Terra Pokemon, which will allow it on the team, since therefore it would be a bug type. Now, Katie's team is very good, and I only really have a slight change that will be to the Teddy Ursa. Now, Teddy Ursa does fit Katie's cute theme very well. However, I believe that Fido is a better pick for this team. Katie is known as a baker, so it makes sense that her ace Pokemon would be a pastry. This also works well to counter the fire typing if you decided to make this a dosh bun instead with wall baked body, but maybe that would just be a thing for the rematch team as it might be a little overpowered for the first time around. Our second gym leader is Brashus. Brashus' team consists of Petlil, Smoliv, and Sawudawudo. Similar to Katie, they did pretty well with this team design, however there's a small change I would like to make. Petlil should be replaced with Toad School. I feel like this is a forgotten Pokemon of this generation, since it's really only claim to fame as being similar to Tentacool. But with its high special defense, it can be a really good counter to those who chose Fuecoco as their starter. And while I like Sawudawudo finally being a Grass-type Pokemon with this team, I think that Grafii would be a better representation of an artist, since that's what it kind of is based on. It leaves all of its poison toxins around on trees in the Tag Tree Forest, I feel like it fits Brash's team better than Sawudawudo does. For our third gym, we are jumping into a collab with Iono, the electric gym leader. Her team consists of Watril, Bellybolt, Luxio, and Miss Magius. We're going to make a few changes here with her team. First, we will be replacing Luxio with Palmo. I know that Nimona does use Palmo and Palmont on her team, but there really only are a few electric types in this region to choose from, so I feel like it also needs to be used on Iono's team as well. While I do like having the Levitating Electric type as an ace Pokemon, I think a better Mon for Iono's Terra type would be Mousehold. This Pokemon appears around Lavincia, which makes it easier to encounter, but my real reason for adding Mousehold is its signature move, Population Bomb, which plays into the streamer theme of Iono. It's also a really good move and will make this gym very difficult, so I think we're not sacrificing the difficulty level between Miss Magius and Mousehold by just swapping the team around. I think it works for me. I also think it shows off a Pokemon that isn't seen by any other gym leader in Paldea. We don't see Mousehold at all, at all in the story. Kofu the Water Specialist is up next. His team consists of Wugtrio, Veluza, and Crabominable. If you've watched the series before, I like certain numbers of Pokemon on a team once we reach a certain point in the game. Now Kofu, as the fourth gym leader, should have four mons on his team since the previous gym leader also had four mons. So that's something we'll have to change. The changes I would like to make for Kofu's team adds Finizen to the team. I would like to add Tatsugiri here as well, but since it's also a Titan Pokemon, I didn't really want to overlap with the two, so we're just going to leave it off. But it would fit Kofu's team incredibly well. I would also change Kofu's Terramon to Blissey. I know Crabominal kind of works with the Chef theme, but I feel like the egg-looking Pokemon would be more in line with Kofu and his desire to get ingredients. Or as a chef, so I think Blissey works better. Also, gives a really cool tank for his team at the end. Next up is the normal type gym leader, Larry. Larry uses Kamala, the Dunsparce, and Staraptor. Now, we already know from the previous entry that we're going to have to add another Pokemon to this team, so let's add Cyclozar as a reference to the morning commute since it is a bike Pokemon. We also have to replace Kamala since it's not a Gen 9 bond, so I've added Oinkalone or Oinkaloni depending on how you pronounce it. I don't have a particular reason for adding this to the team. I guess bringing home the bacon kind of makes sense, but we also don't see this Pokemon anywhere else in the game, so it makes sense to be on the normal type gym leader's team. We also need to replace Staraptor, so we will swap it out for Palafin. 
this is a play on the Superman Clark Kent idea of changing form when needing to save the day. So this would also have to be the lead of Larry's team and maybe give it something like uh, a changing move that can get it in and out. That way it doesn't Terra immediately, but it does switch out and then become the hero form later on, which would make this team incredibly powerful, more so than it already is. I do like Seraptor on this team. And I want to preface that, but... I feel like this gives a little bit more diversity to the team. Seraptor is really cool because it does tie in his Elite Four team, which is flying type. But I think it could use a little bit more diversity. The sixth gym leader is Rhyme, a ghost specialist. The current team is Mimikyu, Banette, Houndstorm, and Toxtricity. I like this team, but there should be a few changes that could make it better. I have decided to replace Mimikyu with Bramble Gas. I think this would provide more of a challenge um, to Brassus' team, and also showcase the region's pretty forgotten Pokemon, so I considered giving it to Brassius. However, there aren't really enough Ghost-type Pokemon in Gen 9. The other change for this team would be Banette, which would change into Goldango. There aren't really any Gen 9 Ghost-type Pokemon, but it also would be cool to showcase this rare Pokemon in this gym. Goldango is based on gold, which a lot of rappers use when they're wearing bling or wearing jewelry to enhance their persona. So I think Goldango would be a particularly great add. It's also really good because this Pokemon has seen a lot of VGC action, especially at the beginning of Generation 9. And since this is a double gym, it makes sense to have that really solid Pokemon on your team to hold it down. Our penultimate gym leader is Tula, the Psychic Gym Leader. Her theme of beauty is shown through Ferrigarath, Gardevoir, Espathra, and Florges. Now by this point, we really should have five bonds. The last three gyms all had four. So we will have to add Pokemon to this team. The remaining Psychic Pokemon we haven't covered in this video aren't that many, so we'll have to just do with what we got. We have to remove Gardevoir since it's not a Gen 9 Pokemon, and we'll replace it with Rabska and Armorose. I think Florges fits this team well, so I thought about changing its Terra type, but... I feel like it works for this team, like Flower is generally is associated with Beauty, so I left it alone, I don't think it really needs to change, you can let me know if you think it should. And our final gym leader is Grusha, the Ice type specialist. Grusha's team is Frostmoth, Beartick, Satitan, and Altaria. There isn't a lot we can do with Grusha's team, since again, we are limited to a very few amount of Ice type Pokemon, and the only thing that's remaining from this line that hasn't been used is the Frigabax line. I guess the changes we can make to the team if we wanted a solely Paldean team would be Satatl, Arctobax, Titan, and Excalibur. But I didn't really like that. This team was hard to build, but here's what I've come up with. A bomb of snow to set up the snow. So Titan as a slush rush user. Arctobax, just because we haven't used it yet. Eskew as a pseudo wall that can regenerate its face with ice face or with ice body. And Altaria. I like Altaria as a Terramon for this team since it's a cloud-based Pokemon, which is where snow originates in Precipitation, so it's kind of required to snowboard and just fits an Ice-type team, so I let it be here because it matches with Grusha's passion. Well, this is how I would change the gym leaders in Paldea. I'm interested in what you would think of my changes, especially with Grusha's team and uh, Tulik's team, so let me know in the comment section down below. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel check out my other platforms to support the content I'm creating on all of those places as well. I've got TikTok, Discord, Twitter, Twitch, and Invisible Corporation. So please go check out all the other places. They're linked in the description down below so you can follow them all there. I appreciate all of you for your support on this video and thank you for watching. So until next time, I'm Chaos, signing off. Stay safe and as always, burn it up.